Good morning! Welcome to Vlogmas week 2. It is currently Sunday and unlike last week I'm actually starting Vlogmas on the first day of the week and today I don't really have much planned but I was laying in my bed on TikTok just now and I keep seeing these cloud walls and I really want to try it because it looks so so cool and you guys know I'm so artistic and I love stuff like that. So I have some LED lights in my room already. It's yellow things and they've been haunted. I don't know what's going on with them. I've had them for at least a year now and they were cheap. We used to keep them on for a long time anyway and keep them plugged up so that's probably part of the reason why they just started flickering and they got old. I wanted to try this cloud wall that I've been seeing because oh, I'm literally obsessed with it. I'm literally obsessed with it. I will be going to the store today and getting some things to try this cloud wall. Um, I just want to do like I like when they carve it out and do like a section of their wall that literally looks so cool to me and if it doesn't turn out <sighs> I don't know what I'm gonna do because I don't want to waste my money. I'm literally using my own money for this. I just spent the past few minutes comparing prices between stores because I refuse to spend more money at Target if I could have went to Walmart and paid cheaper. And it turns out I'm gonna have to go to probably just Walmart because I'll save a lot much more money if I went to Target and Target doesn't have half the supplies. But I'm super excited for this video. I'm crossing my fingers and praying that it turns out good. All right, I'll see you guys when I'm on my way to the store or something. And the mirror fell off. So we taped it up and now we're about to go to Walmart to get the stuff. Mm -hmm. We got the boards. Now we just got to get this. <laughs> we're about to get started. to no. give context to no. that clip. No. I just wanted to give context to that scene because I realized that that's the only clip I have from Monday. But basically, I had to get a pulmonary test at the hospital because I have asthma and they wanted to just do different breathing technique tests on my breathing. What's up guys? So I decided to do a Q&A because I haven't done one since I think I started my channel and that was a while ago. How old are you? I get this question a lot, mostly on my TikTok, because I don't know why, but when I post a TikTok with Sydney, my cousin, everyone always thinks that I'm her mom, which is kind of offensive because I hope I don't look like I could have kids. But I'm 18 years old. People always ask me like, who do you live with? I still live with my parents. I'm in college, I'm 18. What are my hobbies? Makeup, doing YouTube. I really enjoy watching, like binge watching shows or like finding new things to watch. Um, I like watching stuff that not a lot of people know about. That way when people are like, oh, what are you watching? I could literally be like, let me put you on. And it's actually putting them on because they never heard of it. Like, I don't, I don't know. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a. What? I like, I like going out. I like having fun. Like going to different places and like taking pictures at different places. But now with COVID, the curse word. Can't do any of that. But anyway, where do I see myself and my YouTube channel in five years? In five years, I'll have already graduated college. Um, so hopefully I have a well-established job at a really, really, really good production um, company. 
whether it's Netflix or Paramount or, you know, Warner Brothers, I have a, a leg in the door. And I'm like, whether I'm an intern, I'm doing something, it's good. And as far as my channel, I see it going far. Um, right now, it's been kind of dead. Um, the views have been low. AdSense has been low just because of COVID. For all the YouTubers, it's been low. But um, I have a lot more cool ideas in store for you guys. And I just hope that a lot of people find my channel and subscribe and yeah but in the future hopefully post covid please post covid i see myself collabing with james charles i speak it i speak it into existence this year has probably put down a lot for you and so i feel like we should all get back at 2020 and just boss up have you ever met anyone from youtube in real life i don't know if this counts but like my zoom with james charles was pretty real i guess like i mean that's as close as it gets being you know in a pandemic but me being able to meet james charles and ashley strong is super super duper cool and i still have contact with ashley which is super super cool benny from instant influencer i have contact with him so i guess if you want to say they count but as far as other youtubers no i don't i don't have any connections but it's coming, Lorray, Quinlan. It's coming, Tati, Undoes. It's coming, it's coming. What celebrity would you rate as a perfect 10? Hands down, I, it would have to be Zendaya. Zendaya is literally a perfect 10. Just because I have been following Zendaya since she came up, okay? Shake It Up was my show. Like, Zendaya is so beautiful. She's an actress, she's a singer, she's a model. Like, Euphoria is the perfect element for her because we're so used to her seeing her as like a Disney and she's like, oh, she's not cursing. Oh, and she's like, drugs, what? And Euphoria is so out of her element. Like, it's beautiful. And then like, her, her picture, she be taking her skin nice, her eyebrows nice. Like, Zendaya is literally a perfect 10, hands down, period. What's some things that sound like compliments but are actually insults? Oh man, um, I feel like for me personally, people say things to me that like they think is a compliment to me, but I'm actually like, like when people be like, oh man, I'm trying to think. Well, when I was younger, my voice was much deeper than it is now. And people would always be like, I love how deep and raspy your voice is. And as though as that was a compliment coming from them, to me, I'm like, thanks. Like, thanks for telling me my voice is deep and raspy. But nowadays, oh, my eyes. I don't know why. It needs to be said. Just because you have a color of eyes away from any shades of brown, that doesn't mean that you should be another race. I think that is a big issue. That's a big issue that I've dealt with since I was younger that still happens now. Like the voice thing doesn't really bother me anymore. Like whatever, I know my voice is deep. I know it can be raspy at times. Like my eye color, like I don't understand why people think like colored eyes aren't brown. Like brown is a color, you have colored eyes. Everyone in the world has colored eyes, but people would always be like, your colored eyes, like, are you mixed? As much as like when I was younger, I'd be like, oh yeah, I'm mixing Cherokee and this. Nowadays, it's just like, why do you need to be mixed or something to have beauty? So I guess that's the only thing that really, I went too deep into that. Um, What's the dumbest way you've been injured? Um, When I was younger, it was around Christmas time and there's a forest preserve up the street from my house and it has big hills. And one of the hills is so high that when you're standing on it, you can see downtown from the hill, which is so, crazy to me but in the winter it's full of snow it's so pretty and so my dad would always take me and my sister sledding and so one time we went sledding and we always do like the different hills based on like how many people are on the hills but we like to go into the big hill the the rule is whoever weighs more goes in the back so the weight is you know distributed but my older sister went in the front of me and I was behind her. And so when we were going down the hill, it literally, our sled literally started flipping. And she was on top of me with the sled on top of me. And my face slid down the entire hill until we got to the bottom. And I was crying. And then when we went like to go back up the hill to meet back up with my family, you had to go up these stairs. So I was going up the stairs crying my eyes out. And it was so dark out there. My dad just thought I was like being a baby. He was like, why are you crying? Like, stop all the crying. Then we got in the car. And, you know, we were out there for like a whole nother hour or two and he just thought I was crying because I was being a baby mind you that was the last time I slid I did not go down the hill again that trip because I was like done I was like ow my face like whatever and then everybody was just like stop being a baby they didn't see my face because it was so dark out there so then we get in the car you know we put the seatbelts on the light comes on he sees my face he's like oh my gosh your mother is going to kill me if she sees your face like this and I stayed out here for two extra hours because I didn't know 
you looked like this. So we went to my grandma's house. She put aloe vera, all that she could put cocoa butter on my face. And they put me in the yearbook on bear day with my face burnt up and I was so mad. But number seven, what would be your perfect job? There are so many like elements to this question, but I feel like to be straightforward, my dream, like the ideal job for me is like, a producer on a big time TV show or like a show that everyone knows is about to come up like Euphoria or like something that people watch a big time producer on a show but then I have my makeup gigs going for me you know I want to be in my Jeffree Star bag like I want to have so many small businesses going on around my main business doing YouTube meet and greets and like being a full-time creator eventually still doing producing but I don't know, I just feel like my dream, like where I would love to be is like producing a show, thriving on YouTube, still going to YouTube meetings, trying to get that Morphe palette out. That's, that's just my dream. What is your favorite film? So I do have three. Um, and they're all on different scales. So my favorite child movie um, is Coco. And then my favorite like coming of age type movie that I used to love watching when I was um, like a preteen um, is Naomi and Eli and the No Kiss List. I recommend watching it. It's still on Netflix. Go and watch it. It's been on Netflix for so long and they're not taking it off. My favorite movie like now in this time, um, I watched four times during quarantine early in like April or May is Call Me By Your Name. Literally love that movie. Timothy Chalamet is such a great actor and him and ARMY together are literally just like, it's a force. What is your favorite song? My favorite song at the moment right now is Small Worlds by Mac Miller. I've just been really in a Mac Miller phrase for some reason. And Stuck On You by Giveon. What irritates you the most? <sighs> I feel like pet peeves need to be its own video. There's so many things that get me tight. I don't, I can't. Um, the first thing that really irritates me is when people aren't honest or like straightforward with me. I'm not a person that gives off like, oh, I'm, she's scary vibes or like, and I feel like you could just come to me and talk to me. Um, but when people like put up this front in front of me and then they say something else to somebody else or like, they were thinking something and I guess they expect me to read your mind. Like just literally all you have to do is open your mouth and talk to me. I hate that people aren't like that to me. It irritates me the most. But I feel like that's the main one when people just aren't honest or straight up with me. Cause I'm straight up with you. If you give, if you ask my honest opinion, before I give it, I ask you, are you sure? Cause I don't want to hurt your feelings. And if you say, yeah, I will give it to you straight. And when people always like have to sugarcoat something or that irritates me when people aren't like that. Cause so many things could have changed or so many things could have happened or like, I don't know, things would be so much different if people were just like that in my life, but they're not. So. <laughs> If you had magical powers, name something that you change. I mean, as sad as it is, I would say like, everyone would think get rid of like bad people or like bad things. But if the world was, everything was good, it would be weird, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like I would get rid of coronavirus. I would get rid of like de deadly viruses that are killing people or like, I would get rid of the things that affect people negatively that is out of their hands, like viruses or like, attacks on people or like you know assaults i would get rid of those type of things and then i would get rid of like debt the world is in debt to who the decepticons to mars the aliens like well guys that is it for this q a i'm gonna watch big mouth